Hey everyone, this is Angie Lee with another Tech Tuesday. Today I am trying a new setup here. I'm just gonna walk through some of my resume progressions and what I'm gonna do is pop in some of the resumes and little bits that I'll be talking about on the screen and show you how I've made adjustments and improvements over time as I learned, as I gained more experience and figured out what recruiters are looking for when it comes to your resume. So let's get started with one that's several years old. So here what we're looking at is a 2013 resume. And just to walk you through a little bit, I'll zoom out just a tad, we have the objective, education, honors and awards, and then there's actually a page two. So what would have happened is I would have printed out um, two-sided. So the page two looks like this. So after awards and honors, you get work experience and then skills, references, interest. Having um, this order looks a little bit odd with a BA computer science and then seeing that the college is here and that the GPA is lower it really kind of makes it a little bit choppier and more difficult to read. So having condensing that information for the school is better and then throwing in the GPA at the bottom, GPA at the bottom um, would have helped. And related courses doesn't need to break up those items there. So at the very top, let's start here again. We should just start from the top and go through. This has um, a huge header, and this it might be one of the reasons why I had a two-page resume, which if you can, uh, if you, unless you have many, many years of valid, not valid, but valuable um, related work experience, you should not have two pages. And so currently, right now, I, I have one page, and I'd say that I have several years of uh, related work experience, and I've been able to get it down to one page. So getting to, um, even especially as a freshman, was ridiculous. So one of the things that could have easily been um, eliminated is the address. There's not really a need now. Even you might see some old age like uh, existing templates that ask you to put the the address but while you're applying you often have to put your address anyways so it doesn't make sense to take up let's see like uh, a huge block just to put that information really they're looking for a phone number and an email and um so that could have put in a been put in a horizontal format instead of in a vertical format which took a huge chunk of content and then here, all these social media links, there's a little bit um, above and beyond. It's just not really necessary. What I'd recommend if you do have really active social media profiles that add to uh, your position that you're applying for, you can put them in your uh, signature or send them in the email where you're attaching your resume. Uh, maybe, unless it's a social media marketing position, um, I would consider eliminating those and the icons just made it really difficult for print. Objectives, that's something that I also eliminate as you'll see over time. Um, okay, so let's see. Another criticism I have when looking at my earlier resume is the awards and honors section. Here it um, would have been easier to read if this was formatted the same. My years are not formatted the same. We go from something that goes with a month spelled out in the year, month, year, month, year, and then a range of years, and then goes back to it goes back to month, year. All right, let's take a look at this second page, which has the work experience and skills. So here, same thing. Uh, I mean, present makes sense, but um, it's a little bit odd that there are two present and um, let's see. But for formatting here makes a little bit more sense. The bullets are nice. Um, the fact that there are numbers was really good. This is a bit, still, even in 2013, several iterations later, I've learned that using numbers and statistics and using action verbs, such as lecture, design, managed, those are um, uh, things that I continue to do even today. So that's fine, using these bullets is a good thing and having these terms break it up. But one thing that I would have changed here is to format the titles differently because this text is the same uh, it doesn't look like a header it looks like body text so in making a bold or in all caps in a bigger font would have been better so this is also taking up tons of space this skill section here 
Maybe breaking that up into two columns would have helped save some space. And then you really want to prioritize things instead of just making it look like a laundry list of items that you found. Um, so then one thing that I would eliminate and see that in more modern examples of resumes do not have this reference list, uh, references available on, upon request, that's just implied and then having that there takes up unnecessary real estate. Great. Okay, so this is my 2013 uh, example of a resume. Lots of things that are still seen, this action verbs, the bullets making it easy to read, but there's still tons of things that um, that I would say have changed looking at my current resume to this one. Let's compare these. I'm looking at this the work experience page with the uh, 2013 example. And then I also, right next to it, I have a 2014 example. So a year later, a few things have changed. The header, much more condensed, brought it down to one page, and that's one of the things that I had to do in order to make it um, that way. You can see my font changed, but those are a little bit stylistic changes. Uh, I condensed the education section. Uh, so it looks like you have the name of the college, the graduation year, the major, GPA, and all of that's together there, and the related classes are gone. That's something that um, was removed in this version. So then starting with awards and then going to, just let's look at an overview. For this version of the resume, you have education, awards and honors, work experience, then skills and interest. Now, if I were to go back here, I think it's great that I was able to get it down to one, um, one page but the header I mean like print I mean I guess it can be easily printed without cutting off so that's just barely making it I like that these labels are separating these sections more easily um, at a glance and breaking it up there but I would have moved the word work experience above awards and honors because um, that's something that is really more important, more valuable to the position that I was applying for versus the awards and honors. Okay, what else here? This is really dense, difficult to read, so maybe trying, I, I, those are titles of awards, so um, perhaps removing, and I think this is something I do in the 2017 version, is removing things like awarded, attended, selected to, admitted to, and making that line of reading, um, that text line a little bit shorter, and Let's see here. So work experience, this looks pretty good. Still with the same action terms, those words. And then what's really nice here is that it breaks up um, the ranges on the right. So you can just look at this section and know that that's related to one item. Um, just a few design critiques. It, it would have been better not to have to, to run this along because it breaks up the pattern, makes it a little bit harder to scan. So you can see where students and Hal Rogers scholars keeps going over. So simplifying that, maybe if needed, um, condensing it or removing or prioritizing some of these bullets so that it doesn't have to do that. Okay, now back to a 2017 version. I'm gonna close this and let's see what we have that right there. It is still one page. You can see that this is a much more stylized version of a resume. Uh, the right away it looks completely different the um, the headers are huge it's very easy to scan one thing let's see look there's still an education section some honors listed list have been added what's been dropped is the major uh, and the graduation year because that's not something that really applies when you're looking for work um, when, when you've been at least a year out of college so that's something that you don't really want to highlight so removing the major removing the GPA um, is recommended no so in this version it's been way more condensed let's look at one example awarded Grace Hopper scholarship awarded Grace Hopper conference scholarship grant and then now it just says Grace Hopper conference scholarship a lot of the things related to university have been removed um, and so this, what used to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bullets has been prioritized and listed as five. And they're, they're a lot um, cleaner here. 
Okay, going into work experience, work experience gets its own side, um, all here on the right column. Oops. Damn it. So, sorry, I thought I blocked that out. I'm gonna have to make sure to put like a little, um, like a thing to make sure that you guys can't see my private information, but here we're looking at the experience side and um, the dates follow um, a standard pattern, which is a lot more appealing to the eye. There's headers for the titles, name for the organization. It's just a lot easier to read. Then we go and compare the skills section, which is on the left. It has, I have skills here, which were, listed out, but the skills um, follow kind of like you base yourself, you judge what how your, uh, your proficiency in these different skills, and having it in a list format makes it a lot easier to read, and then it also adds some dimension when you're being able to judge your ability and your competency on each of these skills. And then the interests stay, but rather than making a static list um, with just like listing out where I have on the have before I'm using icons and I limited it to a few unique items okay so that is a comparison I hope that this was interesting and uh, useful for you feel free to pause anytime you feel like you want to pull something out and um, maybe use some of these action terms to help develop your own resume I hope that uh, you're applying and, and developing your resume for um, summer internships, looking for job opportunities if this is your senior year. Thanks so much. As always, feel free to leave comments down below if you have any questions, and I will see you next week on another Tech Tuesday. Okay, bye!